All right, here we go. Big Daddy Shin, day 1364 at my home gym. So here we go. Let me show you this machine. So it took me a while to build it. So, uh, yes, it's an Inspire fully functional trainer, right? And then, you know, you have the tricep rope, the pulled down bar that I think that's like if I wanted to give myself more resistance on doing pull-ups, but I don't think so. So you have these handle where I guess you could stick them like that. I have no idea. Long or short of it. So each one of these uh, plates is 10 pounds, right? So you go 10, 23, right? I got to put these stickers on. But um, yeah, so what happened was I got this machine a while ago, but then I, like 10 of these weights were silver. So I get it changed. And also right here, when you pull down right there, right in this rope, it was like stripped and like the steel was going so I had to get that. So I had to take all this apart. Oh, I still got some grease on there. You need to take out the bolts and nuts and stuff and figure out how to, you know, it's like a video game. All right. But anyways, I'm going to show you some of the different things that I'm going to be doing, right? And then so uh, today I figure it's the first time really going for this machine, right? I'm not going to show my whole workout because it's going to be boring. So I figure, okay, I'll drop it down to 50. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, this sounds like a bad idea. Okay. So what I want to do first is like the um, workout on my chest. Right now, the camera's on the bench, so I'll do the, those later. But first one, you take it down and you push it down. This way, okay? And go up, push down. When I go down the bottom, I squeeze my so I squeeze my chest together and just get the pull so it's down to the bottom part right there. Right? So and I stand almost straight up, pushing it down. So I like doing dips. Oh, this feels so good. Okay, I'm gonna pull one foot forward. Now you need to push towards to you this way. So it's almost like kind of bench, back, stretch, forward, right? Four, five, and then I'll switch feet, get a balance. One, zero, four, five. And then sometimes I will go out this way and try to get like a big stretch this way. See, it's different. Get the other five right here. Sometimes I'll turn reverse and go like this. Actually, you know, I'll show you some of those too. All right? Go. So I'll do like a couple sets of those like that, right? And then now I would take, I think you see, right? And then so I would go this and go downwards this way, right? Okay. There are all these tools and stuff from before. Okay, I think that'd be pretty good. Right? <sighs> okay, now at the gym, it's like really big, like even bigger, right? This one, so much limited space. So I'll just back up and then go one, two, <sighs> I'll do five right now. Okay, and then get the other side. One, two, three, 
See, some people, they like getting both of them, and they just go one like that. See, but the reason why I don't like that is because one's on top of the other, and I feel unbalanced. So I go five that way, I do five the other way, right? And so, uh, uh, what is it? That's when you do like the back shoulder days. So that's actually probably another time when I'm gonna do that one. But today, I'm gonna be focusing on the, um, the front, okay? And look, I'm already sweating like, well, not like crazy yet. So now, moving on from the front part, right? So now, I'm gonna drop this down all the way to the bottom. But this one, I'm gonna move it to two. Like I said, this bench press right here, and my glasses, my towel. My... So when I want to do regular bench, I will go from the bottom ones and lift upwards, right? And then the bench flies and the incline flies, right? But that's not this video. Right now, I'm just showing you different exercises I'm going to do on day one. Okay, so this one... First thing I do is I'll lift up like this. Here you go. Now, I'm, what it is, it's giving me under here, lifting up, and also in the top right here, this muscle right here, right? So I'll go up first, here you go. And then when I'm down here, I'll go up above my head and touch up here. So that's one. Front, up, front. I don't know, usually I do like three sets of 10 of stuff, right? But on this case, I'll probably do like, you know, five sets of five or something until I get like stronger, right? And then so, this one also, like uh, tomorrow when I do shoulder days, I will take it and I'll pull it on the other side like this. So down here, right? And I'll pull up this way. So it just gives you side one, right? Up and high shoulder, right? But I do it the other way. I don't do it this way. And this one, I've done this one, get the five in. One, two, three. Now, on this one, I don't like doing it this way because if you can see this the, the, the rope, right? It'll go against your stomach. So what you have to do is everything, hold on. Everything that you do on here, it has to feel like you're part of the machine, right? So, for instance, well, let me, yeah. So, when you have the wire to pull it, it goes straight out this way, okay? I don't wanna put it like, so it's turned like that, right? Up, up. If it's gonna go straight up, like this, or straight up that way, okay? And then also, when I'm back up on top, okay? If I'm pulling this way, I wanna do an angle so it pulls straight out this way, right? Instead of like around my body, if that makes sense. So like I said, this was just for explanatory problems, right? So, this is more lower chest when I'm down and I have the, uh, the the bench, then I'll be able to work out the top one. So, you know, curls and stuff, it doesn't matter, right? Just curls, whatever. Or this one's more of a tricep one, like this, and you just bring it down like this, and your tricep will crunch, or you get the tricep bar. But I'm pretty excited. I just demonstrated you, and look at that sweat, right? So let's see what happens when I finish this workout. All right. All right, there you go, day uh, 
1364 in the books. Got my sweat going on and uh, uh, it feels good. So I showed you some of the different exercises I was doing. I did a couple extra ones because, you know, I'm like, while I'm there, I just did it, right? And then so to just focus on the workout. So I think this is how I'm going to do it. I'm going to show you what I'm going to do and I'll talk about it at the end. But uh, yeah, like these ones where I took these and I sit on the floor and I was pulling them down like the lat thing. So I was just doing it just strictly on, uh, you know, just, uh, uh, you know, lifting up. I did some shoulder presses as opposed to just lifting up this way. You know, sideways, I went upward straight, curl and go for it. But there's so many different things that you could do on this one. So tomorrow I'll be focusing on like the pulling ones. So like for the back and the lats and the back of the shoulders and everything. But um, what I like about this place right now is that like, yeah, the door closed on accident, right? Over there. So it keeps all the hot stuff in here. So I'm sweating a lot more. So, I mean, going for the walk, it's super cool. Just going out there for exercise. But when it starts raining, it gets super cold. Yeah, I'm gonna be in here and then getting that going. So if I keep this up every day, there shouldn't be an excuse on why uh, I'm still fat or whatever. You know, my, my body should tone up. And then, so now I have my eating more regular. And then also the stuff that my mom was showing me on you know, how to prepare my stuff and you know, my, my you know, putting, putting just the stuff away. And then be able to just go to the store, buy some lean meat, have some frozen chicken in the um, in the freezer, eat some more vegetables. So like today, uh, you know, Stu and I, we ate like hamburgers and we wrapped it up in lettuce and just ate that. It's perfectly fine. Now the thing is, at this point, I'm not worried about the whole calorie count of it because if I'm going to be putting in work here and then get my sweat going on, I should be perfectly fine. Just as long as I don't eat like super late, drink a lot of water. So, and then right now, I'm going to just uh, take this off, go in the shower, and then probably just chill outside or something, you know, just on the patio. So, um, I'm getting it. My first day of the Inspire machine, right? So, hopefully I inspire some of you guys. I know it took a while for me to get back into actually the weight training stuff. And then, so eventually, I'll get my bike going over there, right? I'll put the TV over right there. So then... You know, I'll be able to do like the hour on the bike, do some stuff here. And um, it doesn't, it sounds like a lot, but it, it really isn't. Because, you know, the whole bike thing is watch a movie and half the movie. You're like, oh my gosh, I got to do more. And, then, you know, there's cruise control just burning the sweat. Plus with the heat in here, it will feel really good. So I, I feel pretty good about this. Anyways, it should be another day one, but it's not. It's day, Big Daddy shit, day 1364. If I could exercise 1364 days in a row, you could exercise 1364 days in a row. Because if I could do it, you could do it. I'm doing it. Um, uh, first day with Inspire Machine.